The city's water supply went dry Thursday night after two or three pumps at the water plant suddenly stopped working. That left all of Port Gibson with no water Thursday night through Friday morning. It's inconvenient. Don't get me wrong. I'm not happy. I'm not happy about it. The pumps that failed were installed over a year ago. The city spent $2 million in a loan from the state health department upgrading the water system. That upgrade is supposed to last 30 years. They've done, supposedly have done $2 million of work. We're expecting better service out of our $2 million. You just installed some new pumps and now they're breaking down? Well, I really think we were given a faulty deal. These pumps could, shouldn't have failed within a year. Leaders tell us a mechanical starter that's supposed to supply water to the system also shut down, making matters worse. It caused it not to call for the wells to come on, which made us lose pressure and we wasn't getting water into the plant itself. Crews spent Friday morning rushing to get the water pumps back on and running. We thought it was going to take longer, but it's going to be a bit, lot shorter than we thought. These guys are working hard to restore the pumps. The water is flowing again with two of the three pumps now back in operation, one still out of commission, and the contractor could be forced to eat part of those repair costs. Reporting from Port Gibson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.